that's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. I'm so excited to participate this year. Um, and we will see how this goes. Today's video is a little cute holiday edition of um, me ranking my favorite childhood Christmas movies. So everyone got their favorites, everyone has their favorites, and these happen to be mine. These are the movies that I make sure to watch every Christmas season because they just bring me so much joy. So let's get straight into the video. So let's get straight into the video. We're going to start off with the number five spot, and that is Trading Places with Eddie Murphy. That movie, it has like a really cute, it's not really about Christmas, but it has a Christmas element to it. Um, the movie takes place around like the holiday season. Um, the reason why I know that is because on the train, one of the characters, um, he's sitting in a Santa costume, and honestly, he's just like, out of it he's out of it I think he was drunk in the scene he was out of it and he had his Santa beard and he started eating salmon through the beard so it is not Christmas related but it does have a Christmas element to it and it's hilarious to me especially with Eddie Murphy in it so that's like my number five movie I always rock, watch around the Christmas season number four we have it's a wonderful life and this is an old classic movie. I think it was made in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken. Either 40s or 50s. Um, and it's it's kind of, you know, it'll make you a little teary-eyed in certain sections. Um, I can't remember. I haven't watched it in such a long time because, I mean, we're just now getting to the holiday season. Um, but it's definitely, it's a very emotional type of movie. Um... And I guess it kind of just shows you like what's the true meaning of Christmas, like, you know, family and, you know, what the things that you really should value in your life. Um, and I just love it just because it just it's an old classic movie. And if you know me, I love classic movies. So, yeah, that's why I put it as number four. It's just a really good movie I love to watch and it just makes you feel warm and cozy. In the number three spot, we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And the only the only edition I'm rocking with is the one with Jim Carrey. That's the best of the best. I don't care about the 1960s version or I don't care for the one they did recently. I'm rocking with Jim Carrey over here. Um, to me, that's the best edition. That's the best version. Um, knowing everything that he went through behind the scenes just to make the movie, to me, should make the movie, like, number one in everybody's eyes. Um... I don't know. I just like it. It's funny to me. You know, there's so many hilarious scenes, and I grew up with this movie, literally. Because I think this movie came out in 2000? 2001, I think? So, yeah. This movie... Yeah. This is, to me, the best Grinch, and it's the funniest Grinch. And... I don't know. I just like it. I like it. And I like to watch it. In the number two spot, we have Elf. Elf is one of my favorite movies. Especially during the holiday season, because... What's not to love about Will Ferrell? This movie is just top notch. Like, it's just, I don't know, I just, I have to watch it every holiday season. Like, when he's sitting there eating that spaghetti with all the syrup and the candy and crunching up the Pop-Tarts. And he's sitting on, you know, the, his, his elf, his adopted father's lap. And it's just when he passes out on all the elves and well not on all the elves but on one of the elves in the workshop and when he tastes coffee he's like like that i don't know it's just it cracks me up every time so yeah that's elf is definitely number two on my list my kids will probably grow up watching that movie honestly and for the number one spot this movie has a very very special place in my heart every time i see it I always think of just like being a kid sitting in my kindergarten class, kindergarten class, and like us just watching it. Well, not kindergarten, fourth grade, sorry. Me sitting in my fourth grade class, having a Christmas party, and watching this movie with my classmates. And that movie is Polar Express. Polar Express always, always, always has a special place in my heart. That movie, it just like. 
I don't know. It just touches like it's just a special part of my heart, honestly. Like literally, like, when I say it, it's in a special place in my heart, it is because it's just it's one of those movies where it's like you instantly go back to being like, like literally a child. Like you go back to innocence. You go back to just you go back to your childhood. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I'm just trying to find words to explain it, but it just does something special for me every time I see it. Um, and it's I don't know. It's just one of my favorite movies. So that's why I put it as number one. Um, yeah, Polar Express will just, they will always be that girl. Polar Express will always be that girl, just to let y'all know. So, yeah. And there is an honorable mention for Home Alone, Lost in New York. That is one of my favorite movies as well. It just didn't make this countdown. Um, all these movies that made the countdown, I just love to watch during the holiday season. Um, and... Home Alone is obviously one of them, but I can only choose five, so. But Home Alone is also one of those movies that I love to watch during the holiday season. It's just, it's, it's a good movie, so. So that was a very quick video. I just wanted to rank my personal favorite Christmas movies. Um, I know some of them might be a little uh, controversial. So, I mean, list your favorite movies in the comments below. Um, let me know which ones you agree with, which ones you don't agree with. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. So, see you guys later. Bye. So I'm